your glasses up, put your glasses up, a toast to the men. Welcome to a Toast to the Men Network with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Hit the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, hit the notification bell so you're notified when content drops. But definitely hit the like button. Also, don't forget to go by Spotify and check out the podcast with my guy, J.C. and myself, J.C. and S.D. Every Monday at 7 p.m. Central at The Loom. Yes, Uptown Dallas, Dallas Uptown, however you want to say it. Check us out. I had to take the content or the podcast off of YouTube because I was getting deemed. Yes, yeah, so raw content. We we speak uh, transparently and openly. And so they, they dinged me a few times. I had to take it off. Uh, but it's on Spotify. And uh, you can get that tonight, Tuesday. But to get us live, come by Monday night at 7 p.m. Central, Dallas Uptown, The Loom, and check us out live. Man, Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders. Um, Deion, if you don't know, Deion was the coach of GSU, Jackson State University. About two days ago, he uh, he took the job or announced that he took the job at Colorado University. GS, GSU is an HBCU. It is Division One, but it's a lower tier of Division One. Colorado University is an FBS. That's the upper echelon of Division One, the top tier of the Division One. So uh, there's a lot of layers to this. You know, I like to be objective and really dig in and peel back the layers, but it's not black and white. And so you got a lot of people criticizing Dion, and you got a lot of people praising Dion for this move. I think from a business standpoint, uh, but when I say business, money, from a money standpoint, and from a visibility standpoint, this is a good move. It's a good move. Um, but morally, is it right? Did he sell the people of Jackson, Mississippi? Did he sell the students and the athletes of JSU a lie? Did he play on their emotions? Was he wrong for that? Is that part of business, man, a salesman? Or just you, or is just you and the students and uh, the alumni and athletes naive and wrong for being naive and thinking it was more than business and allowing their emotions to be played on? I think a little bit of both. Uh, I think you have to command Dion from doing what he wants to do uh, with his career, with his brand, with his name, with his legacy. You got to commend him for that. He's making his own moves. Um, Are there rules to how you sell yourself? You know, I think in business, and we take ourselves, man, we've all been on interviews and we have given the impression to their employer, to that manager, to their interviewer that, this is the last stop for us. We may not say it, or some have said it, but we give the impression, this is our last stop. I'm going to retire here. I'm all in. But in our minds, we know if a better opportunity comes, we're gone. We know, we know sometimes this is just a stepping, uh, a stepping stone to get to where I want to get. We know sometimes that's not even the employer we wanted to work for, but the one we wanted to work for didn't hire us or didn't have any openings. But as soon as an opening appears, we're gone. But you can't say that in the interview process. So are you wrong? Are you right? So how do you be morally upright but business savvy? You know, there's that's a thin line. I think in capitalism, you, you got to try to even it out somewhat. Uh, you want to be business savvy. You want to be professional. And I think it's just unprofessional and just unwise to go in and tell an, an employer, JSU is, was Dion's employer, I'm not going to be here long. You know, who 
But what says that? You don't say it. I don't say it. Uh, but there's a way to go about it. Uh, that's why we have two week notices. Um, that's why we communicate and we give the employer an opportunity to match an offer from or by a potential employer, somebody who's pursuing us. We try to give the current employer an opportunity to match, you know? Um, so there is a way to handle it. I think Dion was gone, even if GSU could match the money, which is going to be impossible. Uh, GSU could not match uh, the $29.5 million contract Colorado University offered him. But if they could, I think he was going anyway. Because, yes, the money is one thing, and uh, it should be a thing. The money is one thing. But I think Dion wanted to be on a platform that was highly visible. I think he wanted to compete against the four- and five-star athletes. He wanted to compete against the coaches who are held and held in high esteem, right, the Alabama coaches. Notre Dame, uh, LSU, Florida, we, you know, we go on and on, Ohio State, those type of coaches he wanted to compete against. And he wanted his players to compete against their players, four- and five-star players, blue-chip players. That's what he wanted. And he just wasn't going to get that opportunity at JSU. So did I think, do I think Dion went into the situation with JSU thinking, hey, I'm going to use this as a stepping stone. I'm going to make my name. I'm going to make my bones. Uh, and when I offer the opportunity to elevate, as he sees it, to elevate, I'm going to do that. Uh, I believe he did think that. But did he also believe, hey, I'm going to impact some kids' life, lives. Uh, I'm going to make a difference in the community. I'm going to give back to the community. Uh, I'm going to leave this program better off than when I found it. Yes. I think he thought that too. I, I do. Uh, students, faculty, alumni, athletes have to consider the business element of it. Now, do they have a right to be hurt? Of course. They have a right to be disappointed, of course. But then you got to step back and check your emotions and then put yourself in that situation and go, what would I do? Because the thing is, we can't hold Dion to a par or to an expectation we can't hold ourselves to. Like I told you, I, I've left jobs for a better opportunity. You have too. So, you know, don't put Dion on this pedestal as like he's levitating above us and he's beyond doing something like that. He has the right to do that. He has the right to get everything he wants out of his career, out of his life and push things to the limit push the envelope. He has that right, just like you have that right. But the thing is, we're too much as a people, as a community, we're fanned out, and we hold these people above us instead of looking them eye to eye. So the expectation of them is higher than the expectation we place on ourselves. From a business standpoint, from a moral standpoint, we place a higher expectation on celebrities than we do ourselves. And if you're doing that, you're wrong. You're dead wrong. You know, Dion is not above you. He's not below you. He's a man. Just like you, he's a man or one man uh, for the women watching. Not above you. So he's not above reproach. But he's not above from, uh, for, from disappointing or making mistakes. Uh, he's not above doing what's best for him business-wise. You know, I think it's going to be good for his son's legacy. Uh, his legacy, his brand, and he just has a bigger vision. Nothing wrong with that. Now, what I do, so would have a problem with, and maybe I shouldn't, is that when he got to JSU, he said it was his calling. God brought him there. Now, he didn't say that with Colorado University, that God brought him there. Now, if you ever want to pull on black people's emotional cord, you invoke God. You invoke calling purpose. You evoke those words and you, you, you immediately have their attention. And maybe he did that consciously or subconsciously, or maybe it truly is. He felt it truly is his calling. I don't know. 
But he didn't say those words with Colorado. It's strictly business. It was strictly about the opportunity. And so, uh, you know, it is what it is, though. But, yeah, I, I have no problem with, with the brother getting the most uh, out of his career, out of his talent that he wants to get get out of it. I have no problem with it because I have no problem with myself doing it. I would do the same thing. I'm going to get everything I'm supposed to get and uh, reach my, my full potential and beyond. I'm going to do things I don't even think I didn't believe I can do. So I'm going to be go beyond what I think my potential is. And that's what it's all about. Um, but yeah, that's all I got, man. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit that like button. Also, like I said, don't forget to check out the podcast with my, my, with my guy JC and myself. It's on Spotify. I had to take it off YouTube. So we're placing it on Spotify. It'll drop tonight. But come by The Loom in Dallas Uptown every Monday at 7 p.m. Central to check us out live. Good food, great drinks, great prices, great wait staff, great owners, Linda, Tim. Hey, come check us out. As always, toasters, from me to you, love, peace.